Hey guys, I'm Track Crew, I'm back! Firstly, I must admit, I got addicted to Pokemon Go. Yeah, it's become a really, really focused part of my life. I've now pushed out all of my family, all my friends, YouTube, everything, just to play Pokemon Go. Just for proof, I literally went for a 10 kilometer walk today, just to catch an egg. I'm just hurting all over from doing that. Next, I'm in my old setup. Yes, there's so much good lighting in here. I might record a bunch of other videos in here but it's cool to be back in here it brings back nostalgia and stuff thirdly it's really really tired so I'm probably gonna sound like I'm drunk but anyway today I want to talk about my experience with English trying to get that GCSE I still don't have the GCSE but I'm working on getting it I want to update you guys as it goes along basically about two days ago I got a call from some random number as I do I always just decline them because if I just find some random number of course I'm gonna think it's spam but they actually she left a, a voicemail message and I just heard it and it was like Aiden Gray you have passed your level 2 reading and I literally was so happy like I passed my level 2 reading oh my gosh yeah you know you guys know I've talked about this before but I'm probably gonna talk about it again like bring up some stuff here basically my journey started back in the, the last year of secondary school where when we had this teacher I won't mention her name but she was lovely she basically do I remember much? All I remember is just doing poems in English, just deciphering what they meant. Very cheesy stuff and stuff that I probably will never use again. But basically I had an E overall. That's not an E, but anyway. And it turns out she made a really bad mistake. Basically there was a sheet that she sent to the government and there was a box that she needed to tick that would enter me in an exam. Turns out she forgot to tick it and sent it. Then we were trying to get the government to actually let, let us send it and they were like nope sorry you're gone after all that I ended school with an E in English so I, I wasn't happy but at the, at the time I wasn't that bothered because grades like they didn't mean much to me now I'm just like it just still don't mean that much to me but it would be cool to have a GCSE English I'm probably gonna need a GCSE in English to actually become an actor anyway so I can actually learn a lot of English and stuff but after that I went to college a whole flipping year passed and it was the time to get Get the results so we went to get the results my friend Rebecca went with me and she got her results since I had, I had no results imagine that you go for a whole year of doing something and at the end of it you just get nothing so yeah that was a good first year in English and next year basically I've got to admit that it was probably partly my fault because I didn't really understand the levels basically in college it goes level 1 level 2 and GCSE I got entered into reading level 1 one, writing level 2 and speaking and listening level 2 so the whole year I passed level 1 and this year basically um, it sounded really suspicious to them just saying oh, I passed writing level 2 and speaking and listening level 2 last year I had to send in so many times the flipping qualifications but it turns out at the end of the year basically I spent a whole year that every time I came into the week I came into the week great basically we did English every week and in that week we probably wouldn't cover much much. but basically at the end of the year like if the time came like all my friends had left the class because they had already passed their English oh this really gets my blood boiling like this teacher I'm not gonna mention his name but he is a proper stupid guy because he just did it for the flipping money it normally wouldn't matter if someone was doing it for the money for a job of course you're gonna do it for the money but if it affects my education yes I'm gonna be mad so one night I was actually really worried about passing my exams so I decided to ask him him like in an email please can you send me some resources so I can actually do some revision and do you know what he did he didn't reply it was like a, a holiday and like the, after two weeks I came back and I asked him why didn't you reply and he said oh it was 5 p.m. on a Friday that like, it's when I'm not working so of course I'm not gonna reply and um, you have to ask me on a school day I was flipping furious like why teachers are meant to just teach you and support you all the way but him would he just completely just shut me down also my friend Marcus you've seen him in a video before basically he went through an exam level one and uh, he rushed it he, sp he finished it in about 20 minutes or so and he came back in the class say I'm done the teacher actually just stared him right in the face he literally just shut him down 
too, just saying like, you can't finish in 20 minutes, you're gonna fail. And you know what happened? <laughs> he actually passed and just shoved it in his face. It was pretty funny. The end of the year came and English teacher's contracts were like ending at the end of the year for some reason. And he just took off and left to go and do other jobs. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that he's doing multiple jobs at the time. He, do, he was doing performing arts, English, and some other thing with the theater. Of course, he wouldn't be doing his best performance in English. But you know, I don't want people to just take jobs for the money. Don't buy off my everything you can chew because then you're just gonna do really bad in your performance. And it also affects other people like me and other people. So basically, he stopped coming to the English lessons. Like, he, he completely just quit. Like, all my friends had already passed English, so they didn't need to go to English. I was literally the only one turning up to English. I literally just went to the door that like it was locked, sat down, like, outside on the floor, just waiting. Must have waited about 20 minutes. No one came. There was this English revision day that I went through, and that really, really helped. There was this certain question, like, what language techniques does the writer use in this text? And I always thought it would be something like, it would be, like, persuasive or stuff like that, but that's the type of text, I think. Now, that's the purpose of the text. Turns out the answer was just, like, adjectives, rhetorical questions, metaphor. I've learned so much in that one day. I've learned more in that one day than in the entire year. Like, that's just really ridiculous, really. But anyway, the time came and I actually passed my reading level two and I've completely passed level two English. It's just an awesome feeling to know that. All right then, thank you for joining me for story time with Trackling. If you want my stories told from my life, please tell me in the comments below. Please also suggest any ideas for any future videos because I am really struggling to keep up with videos. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.